Hi, my name is Jamie Blair. If I scream underage one more time, I will get put on registration. And seeing as you enjoyed learning about Korean so much, I've decided to start reporting in other key areas in Northern Ireland. I swear to God. I continued my journey to the nearby tourist hotspot, Port Rush. Because it was close and perils expensive. Port Rush is a small seaside town about 60 miles from the capital of Belfast. It's a dormitory town, which means it's mostly used for housing and accommodation. Unfortunately, this has made Port Rush home to many alcoholics and drug addicts over the years. Or as they have to call themselves, students. I'm actually quite excited to be back in Port Rush, you know, like I've been waiting at uni for like so long and everything. Uh, but, ah, no. <clears throat> actually, uh, one of the things Port Rush is famous for is the beaches. Well. Port Rush has three beaches, and along these beaches you'll find people walking their dogs, exercising, or if it's a good day, you'll find teenagers doing hard drugs. That's actually how this beach got its name of the White Rocks. According to Wikipedia, 19% of Port Rush's population are actually under 18. Most of which can be found in Kelly's nightclub. Kelly's, or how the locals have dubbed it, Smelly's, is a local nightclub in Port Rush. It attracts people from all over the country and serves some of the country's finest drinks, from two pound cans to vodka red bulls. From Chaz to Agri's, in Kelly's, there's enough port magic to go around. And a hundred pound a gram that is. Next thing, next thing, yeah. All right, next thing. So Port Rush may have a good nightlife, but what else do you expect from a town that has more pubs and spars? Monday through Saturdays may be spent snoring, sniffing, and drinking in the port, but Sundays are safe for one thing and one thing only Port Sundays. Port Sundays are for petrol heads and agries to show off their definitely road legal cars and drive them very, very fucking slowly. They're the type of people who think making their car sound very loud will either get them friends or attention from girls. Unfortunately, it does neither. So, I'm actually dressed to go undercover and I've got myself a nice wee set of wheels as well. Wait, is that your car? Yeah, of course it's my car. Wait. I mean, just... What? Well, I mean, your hazard lights are on over here. So after some technical difficulties, I started looking around the port for other areas of interest. But what do the locals of Port Rush eat or drink? Well, it used to be the case that people from Port Rush wouldn't eat or drink anything that didn't have an alcohol percentage on it or a warning label. But times have changed. Underage, overworked, and underpaid. No, I'm not describing my ex-girlfriend. I'm describing the staff who work at the Remore, a restaurant complex at the very end of town, which is actually quite successful compared to the rest of the town. And trust me, that's a low bar. So here I am at Duvaron. Let's move on. In 2019, Port Rush held the Open Championships. And no, don't worry, that's not a contest for the biggest tramp in the UK. It's a golf competition. And it was held here, at the Port Rush Royal Golf Club. And no, don't worry, the only royalty links between here and the actual royal family are their interests in children. So after all my findings, I've come to the conclusion that Port Rush is also a shithole. 